Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? It is January 12th, 2024, and you are tuned in to the debut episode of the Arts for Vets North Dakota Local Artist Spotlight episode. We're going to give a big old crowd clap for that. <laughs> yes, I am Dale Coolis of Grand Fork's Best Source, and joining us live for, or at the GFBS studios for the debut episode of the Local Artist Spotlight is soon to be joined by the Arts for Vets Executive Director, Kimberly Fornis Wilson. If you have a question for Kimberly, please ask them either in the live chat or in the live stream chat by calling or texting in your questions to us at 701-213-0863. For more information on the Arts for Vets North Dakota, their phone number is 701-330-3072, and their gallery is located at 215 North 3rd Street in Grand Forks. And you can find all this info in the episode's description. So with that out of the way, Kimberly Fortis Wilson, <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. I, I so appreciate how uh, much guidance you guys give in making this happen, and I really appreciate it. And I'm excited for the next year where every single month we're going to have artists in the studio here with us and discuss art and music and poetry uh, with a lot of the amazing people that come through our gallery. So super excited. 100%. I am with you. Uh, mm -hmm. If people want to find out, we did like an introductory kind of pilot mini episode, like seven, eight minutes long. I want to yeah. say about like a, several weeks back. And mm -hmm. people can find that in the podcast feed for the Arts for Vets pod podcast feed by just going to, uh, you'll see the link to it in this uh, episode's description. I have a link to for you can find the introductory episode so people can find the whole background on the Arts for Vets North Dakota. But yeah, you guys are a nonprofit located yes. in downtown Grand Forks. We're official now, yeah. baby. Just, just official recently, right? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. So we've existed since uh, 2015. We started out with a few uh, veterans and their family members who decided they wanted to uh, create an art group that bridged veteran works and, and creations with the broader community. The group at the time was feeling a little bit isolated, not sure how to you know, make their statement from their point of view in the general community, what was offered at the time. And so they decided to do that. And originally, it was just a little mobile tribe. We went around. We did our art together and stuff. But it blew up. Like, the, by the next year, we went from 8 to 40. And now, last year, we had 240 artists come through the gallery. Just growing year by year. Year by year. And so um, the best way to look at it is the veterans have created this space for the entire community. So. Uh, it's a little bit of a misnomer calling it arts for vets. It should be arts by vets uh, because every single offering is for people to come and enjoy. It's for everyone. Other. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So. And then members, you don't have to be a veteran to be a member, correct? It could absolutely be for not. anyone. No, yep. anybody. So we have, like I said, all walks of life, all everybody, beginning artists to professional artists. We got everybody there. We have a beautiful space. Uh, we also have 11 studio artists that have their studios in there. So it's kind of fun to come paint, take a class. We have several free cr classes every single week. You come, you grab a bite to eat, you walk around, you look at the art, and then you go visit the studio artists. And then you might go take a free uh, stained glass class with Bill or something. So we have pretty cool stuff happening there. And it's pretty, it's, I know kind of talking to you in the past too, it, it sounds like you have the whole spectrum of like uh, people on their familiarity with art too. Right. You, you don't have to be like a, like an art professional. You could be kind of like more of a novice or anything in between, yes. correct? And so we, our point of view is the community is your best teacher mm -hmm. and you can come in at wherever you're at. So in that setting, you might have professional artists giving their tips while you're taking a, you know, a class. Or you might have two other beginners with you who are just exploring the medium with a teacher present to answer questions. So we do it, what they used to call in France, open salon. And so it's kind of more a community as opposed to a strict adherence to steps. Now, throughout the year, though, we have professional artists uh, who come in and teach workshops. And they teach step, you know, and those have a fee. Or we might waive a fee or have... Um, we do a lot of like sponsored spots. Mm -hmm. So that's more uh, when you want to move up into a particular medium and learn more things. So well, that yeah. makes uh, that makes uh, a thousand percent sense because yeah, you're you're I have to cover the costs for the for the heavy duty professionals that right. you're bringing into the studio. So that's right. Now, and 
Oh, go just ahead. Just to let you know, um, the other thing people always ask is, well, I want to take this class and that free class, but I can't afford all the supplies. We don't have to afford the supplies. That's the other thing the group does, is we go out and we fundraise and we get donations of supplies. So if you want to walk in and explore stained glass or you want to walk into Brenda's painting class, you just walk in. That's it. You just walk in with an open mind and everything else is right there for you. And I, I, I think a, a, an analogy that comes to mind is uh, the kind of like the penny train in gas stations or, or, or convenience yeah, stores. Exactly. You know, uh, instead of take a penny, leave a penny, it's uh, take take an art supply, leave an art supply. Right. So maybe if someone has some old supplies or want to move to a different medium, they can bring in their old ones to donate and Perfect. take some other ones, right? Exactly. And most artists, mm -hmm. if you're an artist, we all have closet hordes of stuff we will never use in our lifetime. So we uh, bring in and share what we aren't using anymore a lot, but the community can also go to a drunk junk drawer and if there is art supplies in there, put them in a bag because we will sort it out and use it. So and if people, any art supplies. If people are curious and like, hey, I want to maybe explore, maybe see about becoming a member. Uh, mm -hmm. Membership is free, correct? Uh, or, the or classes is are free, free? so yep. people can come and check mm -hmm. out what they want to do. The membership is mm -hmm. 45 bucks, and uh, with membership, you get more things like coaching and mm -hmm. help build your, you know, expand your horizons in other ways. So uh, the membership helps keep the lights on. Right, right. And uh, it also, you get a few more, you know, a bit more perks, maybe not be the right, may be the right word, but first yeah. one, yeah. And, um, but any, any uh, community member, or anybody from a, you know, around surrounding area can walk in and take those free classes. That's oh. the whole idea is for people to explore, mm -hmm. try things out, find their niche, you know. Okay. That. Yeah. No, I, I think that's awesome. I, you, you see so many, uh, 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 I, I like, it, it seems to be like tiers. So you kind of got like, a, it sounds like a free tier and then you kind of got like exactly. your, Hey, here's your membership tier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, and we just love when people come in, if there was ever a case where somebody could not pay a membership fee, talk to me. <laughs> Oh, so, hey, there you go. We want everybody. We don't want to ever have an obstacle for people to come into the community, come in and do art, come in and explore. We never want that. So we will help with any way to get you in the door. So that is so cool to yeah. hear. And, and people could just inquire about that right at the gallery or, or through email or social media. They can do the, the best ways to get the answer from me um, is to go to the text me or which is the number they can text the gallery number or they can uh, email at artsforvets at gmail.com. If they email at artsforvets at gmail.com, they can get on the mailing list, and then they'll also get all of those other offerings will come you know, in their email. And we don't blast emails a ton of times a, a week. It's or not like one of, those, uh, one of those services you sign up for, and all of a sudden you're getting like eight emails yeah, a block, day. Yeah, block, 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 yeah. block. You get too many things. No, we try not to overwhelm people. Like I said, we're trying to be the groovy hangout, chill enjoy the I, people thing I, and i could vouch i know i've done i've done some broadcasts for for one of your exhibits down there for gfbs at the arts for vets gallery uh, for your red event uh, about a year ago and yeah, yeah it's and just kind of stopping by there a couple other times throughout the year too it's i, I could vouch for what, what you just said uh, it's a very chill atmosphere <laughs> you could just tell all the fellow artists are just kind of enjoying each other's camaraderie yes. and just kind of learning from one another it is such a cool chill yeah. vibe and we do the um i call it the five cowlick panic mm -hmm. so we are open for any artist or a musician or poet in the five cowlick panic so what that means is you've got a deadline or you got yourself into something and now things are not going well you can come into any of those free groups and go you got five cowlicks down we'll help you lick at least four of them down get you straight you know we got lots of resources of lots of professional people that love to help people succeed. Just so, learn from one another, right? Yes, all the time. Now, Kimberly, I kind of jumped ahead. I, I completely forgot. I, I I wanted to kick things off kind of like the last couple of times I talked with you with the uh, with the opening joke. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got I, I I looked up another just super <laughs> corny art joke. Uh, so, are, are you ready for it? Okay, hit me. All right. What did the canvas say to the paint? I don't know. Stop brushing me off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll give a dumb drum. Yeah, more more to come those uh, every every month. And this is a once a month podcast. So this yes. is uh, we're 
it, the, normally it's going to be, I think we're shooting for 1230 p.m. on the last Friday of every exactly. month. Yep. We'll be going mm -hmm. live and we welcome everyone to join with it for questions and comments. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we'll have guests as well. We'll have some of our artists and musicians and poets here and you can ask them questions too. And this is kind of like us kind of like us. We were going to do this one at the end of December, but you know, holidays Yay. and craziness. I think it's it's been, a, I think, a, a crazy like last few weeks for everyone. It has. <laughs> it's been a wild ride into 2024, but I hope that things start to smooth out and we can all start to enjoy each other. And we'll make sure to preview it at the end of the show. The next episode will be the last Friday of January. I believe that is uh, January 26 uh, and, and at 12.30. And I believe yeah, Rob Howard will be your first yes. guest. Uh -huh. So I'll be really looking forward to finding all about his background. And I know for the, for this episode, we're just I, I know you kind of wanted to just uh, uh, just kind of focus on what the latest happenings uh, yeah. from the last recent uh, couple of months or so and upcoming months going on to Arts for Vets events and, and news and announcements and just other classes and I just want to get out of the way I'm not an art expert I'm considering myself an art novice uh, then you're uh, perfect yes for so I'm looking forward to going <laughs> on this ride with you being a hosting and just just <laughs> learning about picking everyone's brains and just learning a lot in the episodes to come and I know mm -hmm. uh, producer Paul he has that art major background yeah. so I welcome him him to kind of he'll be jumping in here and there throughout on various episodes just to be able to pick his brains here too so uh but yeah let's go ahead and uh go, get, get going with uh, some of the uh things we got planned on talking about i know we got a couple of uh, uh visual aids for us here we got both physical and digital visual That's aids right. today exactly. so uh well you'll see in the corner of the show the podcast art for this here uh and we and you got this dog tag and mm -hmm. it, that art was based on this actual physical dog tag that the arts for vets helped create it yes so i like to give people challenges and sometimes they love me for it and sometimes they hate me. <laughs> but Randy uh, Goodin, who he is our wonderful metal artist, and I wanted to make uh, opportunities for people to make a dog tag. Uh, we are going to be doing this as a workshop. In the oh, if you want to hold it up maybe just a little bit more for yeah. the camera. Oh, perfect. Good deal. So, yep. Um, but it's a way to connect with the group, but also be creative yourself. And so Randy's doing um, going to be teaching how to hand paint with flame your dog tag. They come out absolutely gorgeous, similar to this bracelet right here. So that's all done with flame. This is 100% flame, the coloring. It's I'm, I'm having amazing. flashbacks to movies where you, they show like the black myth, blacksmith in the forge, you yeah. know, hammering away, making a, the most just sharpest axe imaginable. <laughs> exactly. And then um, this one is uh, enamel painting mm -hmm. on copper. So we do, we're going to be doing that as a workshop. So you have to check our Facebook page and watch for when the signups are for that. But um, we, we do a lot of uh, challenges of each other. So, um, and I have to say, everybody rolls with it and gets it done. Paul, um, Paul Bonamy, I we do things for the public. Like we had a, just last fall, we had a show called The Perfect Show. And so I told everybody, you're painting cats. And everybody goes, I don't paint cats. And I go, you're painting cats. And then so we had a show. And the, we raised funds for both Journey Home, Animal Shelter, and um, Circle of Friends. But we like to do those challenges. We like to challenge ourselves, And then we like to benefit the community some way. So this uh, sweet painting, I don't know if I'm Oh, there you go. Here. Yep, you're good. Yep. Yeah, this, it's Perfect. hard to see. But um, Paul... Oh, we got a little bit of a green screen interference, but yeah. I think people get the general so, idea there. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's super sweet. I'll post a picture of that. And then but this one, I know Paul's going to be bringing in an easel here uh, in a couple of days, and he'll make sure to have that. Uh, we're going to have that kind of be uh, just kind of people can walk by our storefront and see it in the mall here, too. Yes, cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so Paul's one of our Vietnam vets, and he does a lot of storytelling with his work. So if you come in, you know, to either place, the um, – over at the Columbia Hall on UND campus, right there in the atrium, and also at, at our place, you'll always see works, you know, he's always coming up with great story type of painting, so. I, I had a chance to make it to the perfect show grand opening, and the turnout <laughs> for that was amazing, and seeing so many people with so many just, uh, all right, how can they work in cats? Some people, the, the cats were kind of front and center. Some kind of had just like the example you just showed us yep. there from Paul, like nice kind of scattered about throughout. Some were, I was like, where's the cat? It was kind of like, where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I thought that was cool. We saw our, our GFBS's own Icky Ichabod. He had a few, uh, did, few yeah. examples there too. So exactly. uh, a few pieces of art. Yeah, it was, what a, what a great turnout. And there again, the challenge is not to change 
who you are, the challenge is to bring out who you are in context with what the show is about. So we don't tell people how they should paint. We don't, we don't uh, for those open calls, we just say, hey, let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. And pretty happy how the perfect show is. It was because it was like, it went on for what, like a month or two about yeah. the exhibit, right? Uh -huh. And we still have a few paintings from that also. So when we, we don't like just to completely clean up and get rid of them. So you'll find those same kitty cats throughout until we sell them all. So that's kind of how we do. It sort of gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But and, and that's a great thing to bring up too. People can, uh, when they just stop in, stop in there and are exploring Art Trivet's gallery, uh, a lot of the art is for sale. Oh yes, it mm -hmm. is. Absolutely. Because you know, that's how artists keep painting. And um, so it is for sale and uh, um, we encourage people to buy local art. People go, well, why should I buy local art? You know, some people will say, does it get more valuable over time? Well, the way I look at local art is your community gets more valuable. It gets richer, more beautiful. You're reaching out, you're bu building beautiful bridges with each other. So what you're really doing is it's supporting your local community. Uh, your local artists are the people who are watching you all the time. They, they represent your community. So if they're writing poetry, they're writing music, they're right painting. This is things that we find in our community. So um, that's another thing. It's celebrating your local selves. And so, yes, please support local art. Um, some artists do launch to the stars, and their artwork might become more valuable over time. But the other way to make uh, artists' work more valuable is to support them because I've that's how artists grow. I, I, an example that's coming to mind for me thinking, of, you know, what you're doing there at Arts for Vets is it reminds me of just like your, I think a lot of people could probably relate by kind of having like their local kind of like uh, local pub music hall where yeah. they just kind of have like a lot of local music uh, artists going mm -hmm. there to perform and, and who, you know, a lot of them may just be in the local scene. Some may be have some regional success and then there you may have find like, you know, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the needle in a haystack national global right. success superstar and the, the, I can only imagine you could, that's got to be so gratifying to be like, hey, they got some of their start at Arts Well, Vets. and that's why we really like you to come and start talking to the artists because Grand Forks, you know, as rich as our soil is here, we also are rich with artists and musicians that have gone out there. And several of us, I'm one of them, have been recognized on a national and international stage. So when you sit and talk to folks, we have several artists in this town who've done shows in New York. We have a Art curator um, Vicki Arndt, who will be doing a show uh, in collaboration with North Dakota Museum of Art at our gallery. Um, she used to be, work with galleries in New York. Oh, wow. So I think what you want to do is start digging for treasure because mm -hmm. you will learn that our art community, like our music community, like our writing community, has a l big, broad reach around the world. Uh, really, it's good to come to the community and find out. You will find treasure, I swear. And I'll, I'll plug this a couple times throughout the show. For a lot of these events and happenings going on at the Arts for Vets, best place to find out is it, your Facebook page? Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, text me, and I'll send you links or uh, use that. Um, and I just say me because I'm the person usually answering the emails and the phone. But, or the email. And I got arts for vets uh, uh, four is spelled out uh, at, at gmail.com. Yes. And then uh, for the Facebook, it is arts for vets public, and four is the number four. Right. Uh, for yes. for to look look up your guys' Facebook profile. Yes. So there's where you can find that, and people can find links to that in the show description too. And I got for mm -hmm. for the number to reach out to you too. People are looking to just get a hold of you through phone seven zero one three three zero three zero seven two. Yes. All right, and again, look in the show description to find all that information. Uh, I wanted to make sure to bring up, too, uh, we we're kind of talking about um, uh, benefits for members here, too. Uh, members can post on your uh, yeah. social media where, mm -hmm. if, hey, if they we were kind of talking a little bit before the show, hey, I'm going to have some art uh, up for sale at uh, so-and-so place this weekend. Come by and check yeah. it out. So yes. it's a nice way to ha spread some publicity about it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we also have a group called um, Talent Arts for Vets Talent Share, so members are always in there saying, oh, I'm working with this, you know, this is, you know, my, can I pitch my poem, can I sing my music, all that, it's kind of a cool thing. So if you do become, uh, you know, if you, if you get involved, then you also have another outlet where you can share. Here's the coolest part, is that we have several 
uh, community groups that meet at the gallery. So like the Artists Underground meets at the gallery, the River Forks Watercolor meets at the gallery. So we are the creative arts like, hub. I was just gonna say the social networking, just it just Absolutely. seems like the core there where just the connections make it just yes. lead to so many opportunities. It is, so you know, you get involved, you can get reference to almost anything of interest, you, the support system you would need. We collaborate with every art group in town uh, as a matter of fact, I'll give you a perfect example of the upcoming stuff, is that we, um, with uh, the, I, I, my brain is turning off here for a second, sorry. It's all right, I've, I've been there too. No, no, I got, you, got, you gotta love the, uh, you know, as they are more colloquially referred to as uh, brain farts. <laughs> I get more of them than usual. But anyway, so um, we, with the North Dakota Museum of Art is bringing Maurice Sendek work, and I don't know if you un, uh, know what he does, but he did the, sh the children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. Oh, yes, yes, and, and they, they did a movie on that, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, and so they are going to be having his work at the museum in uh, March and April, and they reached out to several organizations around town to see if we wanted to do something to celebrate that. So our Arts for Vets will be creating the parade part. We're gonna create paper mache heads and people can come in and have a good time. And then um, Public Arts Commission will, ha will have a wall that they're doing a call for art for so that people can paint a couple of those uh, works of art from the book. And it'll be a big, beautiful display of what they call a Fabiola display of those works on our wall. So we collaborate quite a lot. And then we, the, for International Women's Day, uh, we are collaborating with local women's organizations, the ERA and the um, uh, Women's uh, Fund. We are gonna have a spectacular show of women's art. So people should go look on our Facebook because you can do, there's calls for art for these things. They're collaborations, again, great connections with other groups as well as our own. You guys are nonstop so over at Arts for Vets. Are. Uh, I was going to say, do you have, is there a date locked in for that women's event there? Yes, that's uh, March 8th. March 8th. Double check on that, just to be sure. It's on our Facebook page. Facebook, so. yeah, gosh, um, I can only imagine I, you guys being on the phone, wheeling and dealing, uh, so to speak, yes, just to, to set up all the all these various collaborations. That's got to be so I cool. I absolutely love it. It's it's amazing. People, we just have an amazing art community, and I love how people get together and make things happen. So, um, I am looking for the date. I will. No, oh, no, yeah, that that is. I thought we had it posted here, but it, maybe it went down to, for an adjustment. No, yeah, it, it, it's it's surprising how fast things can get uh, get 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 uh, submerged in the algorithm. Yes, <laughs> so, exactly. Because uh, it was up here this morning. I'm sorry. No, no, it's no worries. Um, but we will watch for it. So, yeah, I don't but see it but, but roughly seven. sometime in March here uh, for yes. for the Women's Day event there, yes. and then people can find that on your Facebook page. Exactly, and so the um, Sendek deal will be will be doing little workshops from February to March, and then we will be putting that up in April, and um, there'll also be all kind of cool things happening like in other locations, the libraries and stuff. That's a neat project that North Dakota Museum of Art is doing, and then um, the um, the uh, big women, International Women's Day is going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, gosh, so our, yeah. sh our big show in March will be that. Which well, I'm super excited about. Big March show, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stay tuned and be on the lookout there for it. I am so excited for you yeah. guys. So many cool things going on, and I know uh, it's, it's probably like a good segue here. I know uh, we got a flyer for it here. I'm sure Paul can queue up here. You guys currently have a year long event going on that started off yes. in uh, this past November 6, going on for a year at the Columbia Hall Atrium. Yes, and so that is a, we are blessed by uh, UND art collections and um, the uh, President Armacost and UND made this happen. It was such an honor to get invited a few years ago. And every year they put up a beautiful show of uh, veteran art and local art. And uh, you can walk right into the atrium at 501 North Columbia Road. It's the old uh, medical school. And it's just beautiful. They they put up such a gorgeous show. I see it's called the Creative Forces and Arts for Vets Exhibition. Yes. And it's amazing. So what they do also for us is that they give an opportunity to, per, there's uh, purchase awards they do every year, which 
for artists is an amazing thing to say that your work is in a permanent collection at a university setting. It's just such That's a guys, gift. That sounds very prestigious. It is, <laughs> and it's beautiful on the resume, but it's really beautiful in the heart. And um, President Armacos is so supportive, and Sarah and her staff over there at UND Collections couldn't treat us better. And so everybody feels very honored to be part of that show every year. Well, congrats. And so it runs all year long. I, I, I was going to ask, uh, yeah, a year is going on for a year. Mm -hmm. Opening reception on November 6th, it's this past November, November 6th. Yep. How, how did that go down? I can always, the president it was, was really there to speak? It was well received, just, you know, lots of folks, beautiful, and everybody was excited. And that's, that's when they announced some of the purchase awards, too. So that's always a big, beautiful evening. I can, yeah. I can only imagine the planning to put that all together for to put yes. it up, have it go on for a year. Yes, yeah. yes. So when the art sells there, we do rotate the work. So throughout the, you know, you might see one show, you know, in November, but we do sell art out of there fairly often. So then you'll come back and you'll see other art there. Keep so. it refreshed. Yes, we keep it refreshed. There exactly. you go. So if people, oh, it's been a few months. Let's, let's go see what's up. Let's see what's in the rotation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Well, yeah, people still got, what, about 10-ish more months or so to check yes. that out. So yes. plenty of time. Check Anytime it out. Anytime you're out at the U, just pop in, see what's there. You know, it's pretty beautiful. That's yeah, Columbia Hall Atrium on, what was the, uh, Columbia Road? 501 North Columbia Road. Yeah. So if you, basically, if you're heading toward the rail, it'll be on your left-hand side and it's the old medical medical science building yeah columbia hall columbia hall yeah mm -hmm. now other uh events currently going on with arts for vets i know we kind of wanted to kind of give people a refresh on the weekly calendar events yeah so the weekly calendar on monday nights from six to eight we have the fabulous nancy divine who is amazing uh, a published author and award-winning author who we have living in our town here and she does this wonderful writing class and I've participated in it I love it she gets all of your creative juices flowing and uh, they do poetry and readings and things like that it's really nice and then on Tuesday nights we have what's called open salon and uh, we have myself Bill Vasicek and Brenda Bomber there so Brenda will always have like a wonderful little art class you can pop in and learn how to paint a tree and i have open salons so it's kind of it varies you know every single week what i might do so like and a different theme each week kind yeah. of thing yeah and i'm usually like i said the the cowlick layer down or people will run in on those nights and go ah, i'm running my painting can you help me so i'm i'm there for that and then bill does stained glass and i'm super excited about uh several larger projects bill has planned over the next year uh with people w learning about stained glass and then doing these collective pieces so i if you've ever want to learn stained glass he's a wonderful teacher it's a great group they're really neat please come in brenda is a well-known teacher and she's as easy as pie you always learn things from her she's amazing so that's mm -hmm. tuesday nights on thursday nights it's we are open studio so remember those 11 amazing independent artists, uh, they, have an, they have an evening where you can come in, have a little bite to eat, walk around, look at the, all the beautiful art, and meet the studio artists, see them in their studios. Pick their brains, learn from yeah. them, maybe exchange. Buy some art. Yeah, buy some yeah. art. Yeah. So, yeah, Gosh, and many of those artists are you know, award-winning artists who've shown all over the place too, so pretty cool. Gosh, yeah. it, it sounds like there are so many options. If people just even want to just like explore just like other different art fields, just to give it a shot or yeah. you know, something to do for a date night maybe or something like yes. that or an outing with a friend. So that's the, the other thing is that we often have people rent the space with the artist. So if you can rent the space with me or rent the space with Brenda or Tammy and we will be there and you will get uh, an art project with it. So recently we did one for the Grand, Greater Grand Forks Young professionals they came in the place was packed they had food they came in with their group and then we had our class make a group side. outing yeah. yeah so you can do that with a group we've done birthday parties we've done um settings for just a couple who want to work on one piece and so yeah we do that too wow all kinds of options again people can inquire through that through your email artsforvets yeah. at gmail.com or give you a call or text 701-330-3072 or yes artsforvets on face facebook yes 
Awesome. Um, uh, did I miss any of the weekly calendar events? I know you guys got a um, bunch of them, right? Yeah, so Saturday is our, our long day. And so Saturday, uh, us every other week on at noon, uh, uh, Shanta Gotham, she teaches a beautiful, healthy uh, Indian cooking class, which is amazing. Cooking? Yeah, baby. We got cooking classes. And so uh, she'll teach you some, you know, wonderful, healthy cooking class. And then you can go to Open Salon. And then you can hang out with Tammy um, Nadeo, who teaches Native American beading. I know so. there's been so much on, like, uh, I, I don't know if this is the, the right way to phrase it, but, like, you know, the art of cooking. You know, like, yes. your, you, you, the, the, the art or the cooking shows you see on TV, which is way more simple than just throwing something in the oven exactly. real quick or a frozen dinner. Uh, there was a couple of movies that come to mind that really kind of opened my eyes a little bit to it because I don't consider myself a connoisseur of, you know, fine dining or anything by mm -hmm. any means. I'm a pretty simple person, but uh, words on bathroom walls. <laughs> and uh, that movie is, is <laughs> actually, it's a silly name, but it's actually a very serious uh, uh, kind of, like, drama. Oh, and, I'll have to check it yeah, out. Yeah, and it kind of it opened my eyes to the kind of, like, uh, you know, the actual, like, guy going into cooking school, culinary yes, school. Yes. And uh, and then also uh, another movie, uh, it's, it's it's a drama and also kind of like a weird, creepy comedy. It hit a year ago. It was a major motion picture. You may have heard of it in The Menu. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep, yep. Did, did, have you seen that one? Yeah, I have. I've seen The Menu, and I haven't seen the other one. Oh, gosh. Go menu, what yes. a trip that movie is. Mm -hmm. But that kind of opened my eyes, too, kind of like to the fine dining and culinary arts. Well, and what you're talking about right here is some of the conversation. If you come to the cooking class, you will have international discussions on, you know, different places. Like the last time we have a gentleman who under, you knows how to do Brazilian, you know, cooking. So, and my husband and son have done Hawaiian cooking. So you're going to hear about all that. And then you'll maybe that'll be on the calendar, one of those guests. So we have guest cooks too. But the whole idea is for people to get around, learn something new, taste something yummy, add something, you know, healthy to their own menu that they do so we have a wonderful group there too i think one of the classes we didn't have a chance to talk about yet i, I remember i interviewed the uh, the artist that instructs it i'm see if i can remember her name right i'm probably gonna get it wrong i want to say it's mary that does the bead class tammy or, tammy yep yes, uh, yes. Uh, 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 Kind of not not close, but I, I do remember speaking with her at the Red event, and she just kind of yes. firming about that. And she does that a couple days a week, right? She does it right now. We're doing it on Saturdays, mm -hmm. so she's because we had our best turnout on Saturdays for her class. So she does it at Saturdays at two o'clock. So yeah, there or three you, to five. I'm sorry, it was moved to three. And to that's five. another one of the many different types of art mediums people can find and, and and learn. Give a shot, you may find a new addiction waiting yes, for you. Yes, new addiction is right. Well, Tammy's stuff is spectacular, and she does both traditional and Native American beadwork, and she also does contemporary beadwork. So people hire her to do all kinds of amazing patches, like you know Minnesota Vikings or oh, yes. this gorgeous uh, uh, be. Uh, she did that was all fruit you know just gorgeous and then she does traditional Native American beading with the the beadboard as well as on what they you know where you I don't know if you've seen it but you basically have your design on a patch and you pull through and it's just this beautiful work and people do those in the breastplates and belts and all that kind of gosh. stuff so oh gosh tons so. of stuff that that's I it. can't I there's too many choices for me and I'm there all the time. Gosh, so. well, and you, well you got it like uh, is, <laughs> dare I ask is that is, was that part of a bead class project uh, the uh, uh, oh, necklace this maybe is or something, yeah well it is but I recover old beads mm -hmm. you know vintage beads oh yeah and that's what this is oh wow it's yeah I was gonna say that's uh, that really pops I love it thank <laughs> you they're very old they're like from the 1800s so another creative collection you know. I find old broken ones and stick them together. So. Oh, awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Did I miss out on any other uh, weekly calendar events? I know people can those find them. Those uh, are the basic the, weekly ones. Mm -hmm. But again, go to our uh, Facebook page because there might be a workshop. You know, we have uh, all kinds Special of Special one-off events, kind of. Yes. Uh, so, you know, we do have a full we do have a full calendar every week of various things that go on. You know, somebody might be having a birthday party, like I said. Somebody might be having a private party somebody might be, have hired one of our artists to do something special so you just w look for the calendar <laughs> go on to the um our facebook page and you'll see all the announcements and everything yeah 
Now, next up here, we you're, you you sent in a few uh, digital photos. We're kind of going to do a mini art gallery. Okay. I know producer Paul kind of has them ready to go on the standby here. So I know you sent us some photos here. Uh, just kind of some of the staff and crew here. And uh, Paul, I think if you click that icon in the bottom of the system tray there, there you go. Yeah. And so there's Kimberly a, will some go of ahead our, here. Our, the, this is some of our studio artists, and you can see in the background there that's um, Senta and Sherry's actual studio in that room. We have quite a large gallery space. If you go drive in front of um, 215 North Third, all the windows at the front are, are is our place. So you'll see studio artists in the gallery itself. It's quite a big. And I, I kind of want to give a heads up too for our listeners if they haven't been to the Arts Revitz Gallery. There are kind of a big cluster of buildings downtown. It may be kind of uh, uh, if you're having troubles finding it. I, I think the best way to say where it's by is like right on the same side of the street, right next to the hub. Yes. Right? So the hub and we share a parking lot. Mm -hmm. So if you're at the hub and you know where their little outdoor uh, setting is, you look across and you'll see a door, and that's us. So oh. we share the parking lot with the hub. That's the best way. Best across way. The of oh yeah. And across from the Chamber of Commerce. Yep. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right on North Third. Yeah. All right. Next up here we have. Oh, I think Paul can zoom in a little on that too. There. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so this is Brian, and we had a Native American show in. Um, in uh, November also, and this is one of his gorgeous pieces. He's out of Bemidji and a veteran also, a Native American veteran, and it's absolutely stunning. All of his work was so beautiful and well-received, yeah. So. so this was just a little tease on some of the paper mache heads we're gonna make. Uh, when we come up uh, in March, we're gonna be doing those workshops with some, and make some of the wild things, paper mache heads. And if people uh, want, uh, a little bigger and better version of that. Uh, that's just part of like a big, uh, a big uh, uh, collage or yeah. so of several that they could see in the, the in the intro video for right, this show. Right, right, and they can come up with their own. They're not. We, we don't restrict you with from your own creativity. So, and this is Jenny, one of our studio artists, and she's in there making a mushroom hat. Oh wow! Uh, she will be one of our featured artists for the month of February. And she is just whimsical. She makes all kinds of stickers, and she's just whimsical and magical. And well, there's mushroom Jenny hat. It seems like something right out of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, uh, our artists come from all walks of life and have all kinds of inspiration. So this is some of our art. Um, the paintings are mine, but the beautiful, um, that absolutely stunning. Um, Metal work there is uh, is uh, Randy Godin. So that pirate ship is all metal there. It's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a sailboat. Oh, sailboat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have for some reason dumb thing of pirate. I'm, Paul, I mean, any chance we could zoom in just a smidge on that? Get a little closer on it. Yeah, cut in on. There his we group. go. So see, he mm -hmm. used uh, the metal work, and then he did all the burning of the wood for you know the wave. If you get come in and see it, it's really beautiful. The oh, wow. the wood is a, uh, a I, wave lifting up gosh, the boat. I can only guess how many hours were <laughs> that looked very that looks very meticulous. Yes, and, and in fantastic. the meantime, I'm distracting him with all my <laughs> wild ideas that I give him to. Get, well, you got to have that inspiration, <laughs> right? Oh, fantastic. So yeah. All right, next up. And this is Tammy. Our, remember our our Bead? beading teachers. So she actually another beautiful piece you should come and see because she beaded on the painting oh, actual physical yes. beads on yes. the painting so okay. there it's painted and then there's bead work on it stunning i one of my best memories i'll have is her daughter was on one side with her baby and tammy on the other side and they were passing the needle through the painting to build this thing so it's really it's big it's like uh i think it's four by six feet wow it's pretty big. oh my goodness mm -hmm. All right. So, and this was from our opening um, f at the UND, and that's President Armacost and those and Randy and Brenda. And this is the Creative Forces exhibit, then. Exactly, mm -hmm. and they were two of the artists they selected for to purchase their work. All right. So, yeah, yeah. I believe that wraps it up. That yeah. nice, awesome mini art curation there, Kimberly. Yeah, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Yes. We really appreciate it. Yes, glad glad to do it here. That that was a nice treat and just a small taste of what people can expect at the Arts Ritz Gallery. Yeah. So next up here, uh, I think we're just kind of just kind of going to run down some basic points here before we wrap up for the kind of the debut episode here. Uh, I, I you kind of already covered one of my next uh, bullet points here that you, the art space available for rent, kind of. Yes. So people. So um, again, you can rent the space for like a gathering, a party, or a group. Like I said, we have several groups that meet there on a regular basis. 
And uh, you can also rent a wall. So artists or poet, we've had uh, poetry readings up on the wall and things like that, written works. You can rent a wall to sh exhibit your art. So amongst all of our other shows and exhibits, it, some people have their own works you know, presented. So right now we have uh, Vicki um, Evanson Gonzalez. She's got a gorgeous show right when you walk in the gallery. It's a one woman show sharing her beautiful work. Um, it, she just does amazing work and it's very kind of graphic and fresh and um, I don't know how to explain it. It's it just she built a beautiful show. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of color. Sounds so very she's vibrant. Our, very vibrant. She's our featured artist right now. So we can do a featured artist in a space or on a wall. And well, we do that fairly often. That, and that sounds so cool, too. So if just any just doesn't matter how serious the artist is or if it could maybe be like a, a closet passion project or someone and they'll be yeah. like, hey, I want to finally kind of uh, just kind of just reveal that I'm a big time uh, yeah. artist. I'm going to just do like a surprise social media post saying, hey, guess what, folks? I'm an artist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually got an exhibit space here at the Arts for Vets Gallery. Come here and check it out. And yes. They can do that. <laughs> and that's how you become an artist. You just declare it and you're an artist. Heck yeah. I don't I don't go by we're, any. We're just going to do <laughs> applause for that. Yes, yes. <laughs> you don't you don't have to get any certifications to be an artist. You just need to get in there and be an artist. So. All right. Now, uh, next up here, I was going to ask you, I, I know you said this is kind of a little, it's in a little un, in maintenance mode, but you guys have an online Etsy shop. Yes, we do. So, you know, uh, again, on our page, you'll find, we'll be announcing that we've uploaded to there. So you can buy art online. We s mail it out. I mean, you don't have to go to the gallery. Uh, another way you can get your art mailed to you is you can, again, you can inquire, and w we can provide you with current art in the gallery, so you know people can shop at home, you know, if they want to. And we've done that fairly often. So have you had like people maybe just they were in there just to just they're just perusing around, mm -hmm. and they kind of were like, you know, I need to sleep on this, or I need to think on this, yeah. or maybe they're like, oh, I was here last week. I, this art really caught my eye. My oh my my significant other would love it. I'd yeah. love to pick it up for her or for a parent or a friend. Yeah, and we people do that. can reach exactly. out to you that way. Just so we often get people who might be in for you know a hockey game. They stop in during that weekend while they're here, and then they go back home, you know, to wherever, Bismarck, South Dakota, Minneapolis. They can say, you know, I really want that work. I should have got it when I was there, and we'll mail it to you. So hey, there you go. You can either do it right in the studio or just call or email away from, yeah. from home and have, have you guys mail it out. All options. you got all the all bases covered. Yeah, that's how things are run these days, you know. There's a lot of stuff done online, you know, for artists, too. We're, we're all pretty used to mailing our art out so so uh last couple of things for you here before we wrap up uh you guys are i think we kind of brushed on it a little earlier uh you are accepting uh art supply donations and volunteers oh, for help we love it yes we do so people do drop that off you know either at my house or the gallery that happens a lot we really appreciate it we one thing to know when you drop those supplies off there might be artists who can't you know, for whatever reason, they're homebound or there's all kinds of stuff. So we make sure that those artists who cannot get out and about or won't get out and about, uh, we bring art supplies to them. So those donated supplies often end up in kits and we get them out to people. So our vets, you know, we get them out to those guys. Yeah, that's cool. Just a nice way just to reach out and, and just help uh, help, uh, help just uh, support the local art community. Yep, who, that's right. Yeah. Wherever you are. Paul, what's up? Oh, whoop, whoops. Oh, okay. there you go. Now there what's go. up? <laughs> <laughs> um, if somebody wanted to purchase something on Arts for Vets, what do they look in for Etsy? Do you look up the specific artist or do you oh, look for yes. Arts for Vets? I'm sorry, I should have sent you the link, but it is Arts for Vets Gallery. Arts for, and with the number four or is it spelled out for? It's spelled out, yeah. So Arts mm -hmm. for Vets Gallery. Yeah. I, so I, I, I could put a link for that in the description there yeah. too. So, yeah. so, but I will tell you the majority of art is not on there. It's not all the it's art. It's just like a sampling? It's a, basically a sampling and... Um, so we rotate that out, but then folks will contact us and say, you know, is there more of this artist or are they coming up? You know, so it's nice, but we will work with you how, whatever is best for you if you want to purchase art. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, anything we missed that you want to cover before we wrap up here? I know we kind of yeah. covered a lot of ground here. It's a we nice, did. A, a nice, I'm glad, kind of get, kind of like the nice primer episode for future episodes to come here. Yes. Yeah, so, and next week we will be announcing, um, just so you know, We'll be letting pe folks know, or I mean, the next time we meet, we'll be letting folks know about those, um, you know, upcoming shows and things like that a little more, in more depth. 
Absolutely. No, yeah. I, th I think that that's so cool. Uh, we'll meet on our like on the monthly local artist spotlight. We'll be interviewing the guests, picking their brains, learning their story, and then we'll have like our, our regular check in too, just see what's all going on, the latest yeah. happenings at Arts for Vets. So, and if it's okay for the International Women's Day, I'll just send you the meme for that and you mm -hmm. could maybe add it there so people can see that one upcoming yeah yeah a thousand percent yeah we could do that yes cool. yes just yeah find all the description for all the stuff we talked about today all the information on arts for vets we'll have a description in the posting for this or on podcast apps so people can find more you see the description i'll have uh phone number 701-330-3072 to reach out to kimberly for all inquiries for arts for vets for anything we talked about and again, your guys' address is 215 North 3rd Street, right by yes. the hub and uh, Chamber of Commerce. And uh, Facebook, just search Arts for Vets Public uh, with the number four. I'm sure, uh, though I've just typed Arts for Vets Grand Forks in the Facebook search bar, yeah, and it's the first it's thing that pops good about up. It's coming up like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, and again, be on the lookout. We're, this is kind of like our special. This was going to be at the end of December, but uh, all future, th we're kind of doing a mid January because of the holiday delays and stuff like that. Uh, all episodes, this is going to be once a month show, last Friday of every month at 12 30. Thank you so much. Yes, Kimberly. I'm super excited. Uh, before we wrap up with the info and all that, uh, final question What's the last noteworthy piece of art that you have seen that has made an impression on you? Yeah, so um, I, re I really appreciate, of course, local artists. But I honestly, this little painting here of, of uh, Paul's, I, we have it at our house because that, it was a little treasure that I wanted to have. And so I love when somebody takes that challenge and steps outside the box of their norm and gives, you know, explores and works it out. You know, that's your creative brain is your problem solving brain. And so that's why I always give people challenges. So I love people who explored something new and did a great job or didn't do a great job and learned something. And uh, so that's my noteworthy one for today. I think that's a tremendous mantra. You know, they, they stepped outside their wheelhouse yeah. and, you know, whether it be for better or for lure, or <laughs> better or for worse, <laughs> they tried and, and, they, they, and, and they were open to a whole new world that they had no idea that existed yes. before. Yes. Well, your mistakes actually teach mm -hmm. you more than your successes. So, uh, you know, love your mistakes, whatever you do, and be brave, try something. You probably won't make a mistake. That's the best part. You find you can actually do it, so. All right, well, Kimberly, with that, I think we will wrap things up. Thank you so much for joining us here today on the, on the first episode here, and you'll be with us here for all future episodes. With uh, I'm looking forward to all the many guests you have in store for us. Yes, I'm excited for you to meet them all. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes. Take care. Thank you, Kimberly. With that, we'll wrap up the debut episode of the Arts for Vets North Dakota Local Artist Spotlight. We'll be back once a month here on the last Friday of every month, live at 12.30 p.m. Please join us live with your questions and comments or listen anytime, anywhere by searching Arts for Vets on your favorite podcast or social media app. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you on our next show Friday, January 26th with guest Rob Howard. Until then, take care and goodbye for now.